Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode one of Luminar 2018 Tips and Tricks. My vision for this series is that in every episode, I simply give you a Luminar 2018 tip and or trick on using the program. Unfortunately, in this first episode, I must offer an apology. Many of you know that I recently did a video series, Mastering Luminar 2018, and many of you that have watched my videos over the years know that I work with a Mac computer. So, of course, I did those videos on a Mac computer. Well, I went over that, you know, Luminar 2018, all the things you could do on it and stuff, and what I wasn't aware of is that there is a great disparity between the features that are included in the Mac version of Luminar 2018 and the Windows version of Luminar 2018. And many of you, because of my recommendation, purchased the program only to find and be disappointed in the fact that many features are still missing in the Windows version of the program. And to all of you, I sincerely apologize. I really had no idea that there was that great a disparity between the two platforms. I thought really the only thing that was not included in the Windows version was batch processing, and I did mention that. But I've come to find out that there's a lot of stuff missing. So in this video, not only am I offering you my sincere apology, is I'm going to go over the two different platforms and what is different between the two that I've found. Now, I am told by McFun slash Skylum Software that they are going to be included in the Windows version very soon, that they're coming up with an up, out with an update that will address many of the issues, and you're going to find that very soon, according to them, the Windows version of Luminar 2018 will be pretty much identical to the Mac version of Luminar 2018. But I know that doesn't help you now, and I really, really feel bad. So I'm, I'm very sorry. So let's go over the differences so that those of you that haven't purchased the program know what's going on. And, you know, and we'll just all be on the same page about this. Now, those of you that know th things about Mac computers know that on a Mac, you could run the native operating system, which of course is OS X, along with side-by-side -side Windows. And you could see on my iMac, I have Windows 10 running. And on Windows 10, I, over the weekend, loaded a copy of Luminar 2018, and I have it running with this image here. Now we'll go over to my Mac desktop, and I have Luminar over here. And on this platform of Luminar, I have this image. So we could tell the difference between the two. So let's just jump right into it. But before, actually, before I do that, just let me say real quick, because I know a lot of Mac people will be leaving now because there's no need for them to watch this. Um, I did make a slight mistake on my discount code. If you do purchase anything from McFun, Skylum software, my discount code is AM18. And I mentioned that you get 10% off anything that isn't on sale. That is true. But in addition to that, if you do buy Luminar 2018 and you use my discount code, you'll get $10 off Luminar, not in addition to 10%, but instead of 10%, you'll get $10 off uh, Luminar 2018. So that, of course, is more than 10%. So to clarify, use the discount code AM18. You'll get 10 bucks off if you buy Luminar. You'll get 10% 10, uh, 10 off everything else that isn't on sale. So if something's on sale, the discount code won't work. All right, let's go through this real quick. First of all, what you'll see right away is the filters catalog in the Mac version is divided up into categories. So we have creative, professional, utility, and if you look at the filters catalog in the Windows version, it's not divided, divided up into those categories. Everything is just right there. Although you could access the various categories with this dropdown. So you could go to like essential filters and issue fixers and so on. And of course, that dropdown is also available in the Mac version. It's just that right off the bat, everything's divided up in the Mac version. Uh, let's see. The other thing is workspaces. I did an entire video on workspaces because I think it's a really powerful tool in Luminar. 
And if you look over here in the Mac version, you can see you click right here and we have all these different workspaces, professional, essentials, so on. And you could create your own. In the Windows version, there is not workspaces in there yet. So that isn't there. The other thing is there are two tools that are missing. If we go up to the Tools button up here, you'll see in the Windows version, we have Crop and Erase. In the Mac version, we have those two tools, but we also have Free Transform and Clone and Stamp. So there's a couple tools that are still missing in that Windows version. You have to forgive me. I look at my notes as I talk. And I really can't do two things at once very well. Uh, let's see. Um, all right, the white and black points. I demonstrated with the Mac version when you have the raw develop filter that if you want to easily set a white or black point, you could hold the alt or option key in. And when you do, when you click on whites, the screen will turn black and you could easily set a white point. And similarly for blacks, when you do it, the screen will turn white and you could easily set that black point. Unfortunately, that Alt uh, key that um, I mentioned does not work in the Windows version. So that isn't happening yet there. The other thing is the clipping indicators. I mentioned that if you have your filters catalog closed, that you could automatically turn on the clipping indicators by hitting the J key. And the clipping indicators help you when you have blue then showing up in the scene, like here, that means your blacks are crushed. And that could help you set a black point. You could adjust it till all that blue is gone. Here, I'll overdo it. And then you could set a black point that way. And similarly, as far as whites, when whites are too high, when you have the clipping indicators on, it will turn red. And you'll get that red in there, and you could get rid of them that way. And then when you want to turn these clipping, clipping indicators off, you could hit the J key again. Unfortunately, in the Windows version, the J key doesn't work at all. So even with the filters panel closed, if you hit the J key, nothing's going to happen. You have to manually go up here and click on these little triangles to turn on the clipping indicators. Now, they do work. You can see there's a little bit of blue down here uh, because I am crushed some blacks just a little bit. I'm not clipping any whites in this image. But they do work, and you could set a white and black point that way. It's just that Alt key. Um, doesn't work, whereas the option key in Mac does work, and hitting J to quickly turn on the indicators doesn't work um, either. Let's see, the, the um, Mac version on the filters, there's blend modes. So if you click there, you can see there's a little blend mode menu, and you could go to different blend modes. There are no blend modes available in the Windows version for the filters just yet. They are available for the layers, but not for the filters. Uh, let's see. There's no luminosity mask. If you go up to, and you have multiple layers, if you go up to this little brush on a layer above your base layer and click, you'll see you have brush, radial mask, mask, gradient mask, and luminosity. That's luminosity mask. But unfortunately, on the Windows version, let's add a new layer. There, there we go. We click on that brush, and you can see we have brush, gradient mask, and radial mask. We do not have the luminosity mask yet. And as I look at my notes, also, if you click this little drop down here, this little like uh, gear, you can see our choices, and you have a few more choices in the Mac version, most notably, you could merge all the layers. So you can merge, if you have a bunch of layers, you could merge them all down into one layer. You can't do that with the Windows version yet. Also, if you click this little plus sign in the Mac version, you have create a new stamp layer. And I actually demonstrated that in those Mastering Luminar 2018 videos. That is available in the Mac version, but when I hit that plus sign, on the Windows version, you'll see that that is not included. The other thing I noticed is that if we go up to the top menu of the Mac version, we click on image, we have rotate left, rotate right, and flip horizontal, flip vertical. If you go to the Windows version, 
I cannot find those anywhere. So you cannot rotate, apparently, uh, the image at all uh, yet in the Windows version. And last but not least, what I found, now I'm sh sure there's more. This is just what I found looking around the two different platforms. If we go to File, Export on the Windows version, we'll come up with our export dialog. And you can see you export it as a JPEG, PNG, TIFF. Uh, whatever there. But if we go over to the Mac version and we go to File, Export, when we export as a JPEG, we also could sharpen it and we also could resize it. And that is not listed in the Windows version at all. So you can't on export resize the image or sharpen it. So that um, is an important feature again that I think should be uh, taken care of in the Windows version. Now, the good news is that a lot of people were voicing their concerns below my videos in, in their comments. And somebody from McFun Skylum Software were actually addressing their issues, uh, which I thought was pretty cool. It's nice because I'm not employed by them. And they, as far as I know, had no clue that I was doing the videos. All of a sudden, the videos just appeared there. And they must have saw them. And people were concerned about these missing features. And they, at least for a few of the folks, answered their questions. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I am told that the features, again, will be added soon, hopefully very soon, and that soon the Windows version and the Mac version will be identical as far as feature-wise. So, again, my sincere apology to everyone that purchased the program because of my recommendation, only to find that their version of the program was missing a lot of features. The good news is the few people that I did interact with told me they really do love Luminar and they're going to stick with it no matter what, that they really can't wait for these features to be added, of course, but they really do like the program. So that was nice of them to say that. Um, again, I really feel bad for everyone. Um, my sincere apologies. Um, I don't know, um, you know, typically most of us that are photographers, we don't run two different platforms. We're either on the Mac platform or the Windows platform, and we don't run both. And it never occurred to me to check Luminar on Windows. Uh, so again, my sincere apologies to everyone. Thank you, everyone that watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.